The following video is brought to you by GameAnyone.com Hey everybody, the Bong is back. Welcome to part 6 of Let's Play Mega Man 2. Alright, time to take on the second part of the fourth stage, which is mostly these platforms. If you don't want to deal with these tallies all the time, just use a leaf shield. Hold it in and let go if you really have to. Or you can use metal blades too, whichever you prefer. Both work. Just be sure to be very careful when you're pausing and unpausing while climbing a ladder. Because unless you hold up or down, you will let go automatically. And that's no good. Unless a platform is right under you, then you'll, you'll feel lucky and safe. If you don't, then well, you deserve to die. In video games, not, not in real life. I mean, just because of that. No, 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 no! I didn't have enough time to react and maybe get an item one up. Even then, I don't think it would have made a difference. God, Tellies for being so small are probably the most lethal enemies in the Mega Man universe. They're always at the worst place at the, at the worst time. What the? Did I break the game? Oh, what the hell? Let's go for it. There. <sighs> that was a bit of breakage. But it worked. Got a bit lucky with that one. I did react with proper timing this time. Uh, just for time convenience reasons, and I was already here. Let's just use a save. I probably won't need Leaf Shield for the rest of the game unless I'm taking on Airman again. Therefore, I'll just use whatever Leaf Shield I got. I'll just stay right here. Those tellies get mowed down with the little bitches that they are. I don't have much left though. Hopefully I'll get some weapon energy on the way. Or not. Okay, guess I'm gonna have to do this little jump thing unless I use the uh, item two, of course. Which I will. And what's the point of having it if you're not gonna use it, right? Okay, that's enough of the platforming. There we go. Oh, that's actually a godsend. I can get some more leaf shields. I might need them, just in case. You never know. Oh yeah, put a Sniper Joe right there in this little narrow corridor. That always works. Uh, can I get that before it disappears? Yes, I can. Well, I put it on. Uh, quick boomerangs, I guess. Okay, time to take on this very annoying boss. It's very annoying that you have to be very damn accurate. I mean, especially if crash bombs are the only thing that can kill these enemies. Five of them in all. And you also gotta deal with these barriers. There are single ones with barriers you actually have to destroy, pretty much these two over there. And try your best to dodge the shots. When they turn fully red, that's when they're gonna shoot you. That way you can watch them very carefully. If you take out too many barriers, you're not gonna have enough to kill the bosses. But the barriers don't come back, which is a pretty good thing in my opinion. Just be sure you don't use that strategy on your last life, because that would be horribly pointless. There we go, I just camp over here. Use a crash bomb. For you to shoot. And damn it, I was a bit too late. Did I get it? Oh, good. Because I saw that crash bomb was still there and the enemy was still there, I was thinking, oh my god, I'm not gonna make it, aren't I? 
There, I only took out the barriers I needed to remove. And the ones I didn't, well, they just stayed there. Okay, time for the most infamous section in a Mega Man game when you get to the end. The boss rush. I always go for the upper left corner and then go kind of clockwise. I don't know why, just been something I've been doing for years. And I never really wanted to break that pattern. It, it's tradition to me, okay? Wrong way, Heatman! There. Mega Man wins. Flawless victory. And next is Air Man. Ah, this shouldn't be too bad. I probably won't get a flawless victory because of that pattern. Or that pattern. But at least I'll take him out. Oh! Stupid. Missed the uh, energy. Okay, no flaws victory this time. And I got hit twice. But at least I got that energy. Alright, Bubble Man. Get the Metal Blades. There. Did you notice the gravity all of a sudden you can actually jump around normally now? I never really noticed that glitch until now. I might have noticed it before when I was a kid, but it's been a while since I've seen it. But all of a sudden, as soon as Bubble Man dies, you can actually jump around normally in water. The physics are just the same as you are out of water. There, I took out Quick Man's health bar by half. There! And uh, did I take out... yeah, I took out five. Now it's gonna be six. And this Crash Man is out. Oh, that's a bit too premature, Crash Man. Same as your death. Okay, next is Metal Man. And... Trust me, Metal Man is known for one thing. Having the most powerful weapon, but he's also known for another thing. Two Metal Blades can kill him instantly. He gets killed by his own weapon. I mean, all the Robot Masters in Mega Man 3 are weak against their own weapon, but Metal Man is superbly weak to his own weapon. If you're playing on normal mode in North American version, you probably die in one hit. But in difficult version and default Japanese version, it's two. Crash bombs work good against this boss, but I obviously don't have any, so we have to go with the Metal Blades. Actually, I don't think Metal Blades are a good idea. I think now Metal Blades can work. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to use my first E-Tank. Collecting so many of them, I might as well put them to good use. Can the power keep work? No, it can't. That was useless. Alright, stand over here. Okay, I'll. Got him! There. He's not the last boss. Well, technically, he is the last boss. And some shape or form, just not this one. Alright, now let's finish this. In the land of no music. Isn't it so peaceful? So quiet. So relaxing. To have drops of blood raining down on you. Hoping to kill you. All you have to do is hold right and not even have to worry about stopping because he will not hit you right away. And then you're to the boss. Which I will save for later. Stay tuned for the next part when we finish this game. Alright, see you later.